I decided to give it another try with this generative shape fill here in Illustrator. And we're going to try to transform a basic sketch. Now you might say, oh my god, the AI is going to kill designers' jobs and everybody's just going to type in some prompts and generate some insane looking logos. But the real truth is this tool is going to benefit only the most advanced designers who actually know how to stylize and work with the pen tool and know how to execute illustrations correctly 100%. So let's take a look. All right, so for us a reference, I'm gonna go with this bunny and we're gonna start recreating it. And I'm gonna select the pencil tool, double click on the pencil tool, make sure to uncheck everything here, click OK. And if you got the skills for this, you're gonna start recreating the rabbit, just eyeballing it. So I'm gonna go and start creating the head first. And I'm gonna go with the ears. By the way, I'm drawing with the mouse. So the main point is not to make it the same exact, but uh, you know, just to check it how it's gonna look from profile. Okay, so the final rabbit looks something like this. And I gotta select the full rabbit, right click, click on group. And we're gonna go down here, click on generate shape, fill beta. If you don't have the taskbar, you can go to windows and select contextual taskbar. Now I'm gonna type in here a rabbit and click on generate. And this is gonna generate some really decorative bunnies. And you can see the AI is basically following the form of the rabbit and it's creating details in that form and decorating it that way, which I really like. After this, you're gonna need your skills and actually refine it till perfection here in Illustrator. So that would be the right process. All right, so this is really detailed. So I'm gonna go back to the bunny and I'm gonna go and type in a rabbit made of circles. And let's click on generate. And for the first time, it seems like it didn't do what I'm asked for because this is made of triangles and it looks horrible too. So I'm gonna go back, select it, generate, and let's go and click on this cog wheel. I'm gonna go to the effects, click on minimalism, and I'm gonna try it again, generate. And look at that, it worked. So it basically did in the similar style that I had it and refined at the very first time. So here we got like more details going on, but the direction is pretty good. So what I can do is select this, go to generate, click on the cog wheel and decrease the details maybe and click on generate. All right, let's check out the new results. Is this more simpler? I think it is. Also the shape of the bunny is different, which I like how it looks. So I'm going to keep it. And let's check out the second one. No, this is not good. The third one is horrible. All right, so let's go back. There's another trick you can do. I'm gonna go to generate. There's also this button right here, shape strength and detail. Click on it. And here we get the shape strength on high. So this is basically gonna produce a more rounded shapes. Here we got the details. I'm gonna decrease it to zero. And let's try it this way. Now these results are Totally not what I'm looking for. It is just trying to fill up the silhouette with circles. So it is not a good idea. Let's go back. I gotta go back here, increase the detail and decrease the shape strength, generate. And I think the first one looks great. Not the best, not the worst either. I gotta go back, generate. Let's adjust it, increase it back. I gotta go increase the details to 50. And I also gonna add a rabbit made of circles and geometrical shapes, generate. And these are the results. I actually want to produce something more from this one. So I'm going to go and click on generate here and just keep on producing till you're going to find the right result for you. So after you are done, you select the ones that you like most and you're going to start restylizing it. Now the stylization phase is quite complex, so I won't include in this video, but you can see here how it got refined till perfection. So this is how you can generate logos here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.